this old backhoe here. Um, we'll see if we can get this front pump out of here. I got the new pump. What happened is the bushing, the bushing, the pump bushing here with a converter goes up against it, goes bad. And then uh, it lets the converter sag and it takes the seal out. And nobody will sell a bushing separate. Okay, we got her, man. Okay, and there's the seal, so let's go look at So if you get one of these Borg Warners, just call your case dealer and tell him that you gotta even though you may not have a 580C backhoe, they're all the same. The John Deere 310Ds, they all use the same Borg Warner shuttle shift transmission. So just tell them I want the shuttle shift transmission front pump. You can get it way cheaper than you can a, say, a John Deere one. John Deere, they're, they're getting to where they're about like that. I really try to avoid buying parts. From them if I have absolutely have to because I mean holy cow they're proud of them. Here's the new one. It's hard to see in here, but the bushing is completely gone pretty much in this one. It's pretty bad. I know you can't see it, but you know, it's kind of hard to tell what the pump gears, what the actual pump gears look like in it. Well, there's some scratching stuff going on there. It don't look so great either. It's probably a very good thing that we are doing this, but I think we probably ought to do things. I don't think I would even keep this thing around, maybe. I don't know. In case of a dire emergency, maybe I might need. I don't know if it's even worth saving. Made in the USA. Holy shit. Never see that. But I need to pre-lube this one a little bit. Uh, let me find something here. It's kind of hard to spin the gears. Just go like that, I guess. I think I got a little bit of ATF actually in this here squirt can. Doesn't really matter, motor oil, just whatever. Just pre lube it, get it wet. It's ATF. So this feed hole will obviously line up with this hole. I think the bolts only line up one way anyhow. Wow. There's a tight fit with that tight fit with that new bushing on there, huh? Yeah. Well that's a good thing. I don't know that. Okay, let me, let me lube this bushing up. Okay, so I had a good use torque converter out of a John Deere uh, 310D that we're going to throw in there. There's nothing wrong with this one. One thing about a lot of the equipment converters, they'll last a lot longer than a car converter will because there's no lockup to contend with and none of that bullshit, you know.
hill. Boy, the trains are running today, man. Holy cow, are they running. Non-stop. Certain we gotta be, yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. Alright. I think we can put the transmission back in it. But I gotta bolt this plate on there. I gotta get the flex plate bolted on there. Uh, I don't look forward to this at all. I really don't. Just really not looking forward to this debacle here. It's just, uh, it's just a bastard I'm trying to get it in. So let me quit whining about it and let's do it, I guess. Get this wire out of here. Cause that'll get pinched in there, sure as shit. I'll tighten the bell housing down. All of a sudden, something else will go wrong, and then I'll go, oh yeah, the wire's in pinched in between the bell housing and the block. Uh, nice job, moron. Okay. It's a heavy unit. Whoa! Look out, lassie! Okay. I need to get, like, some... Yeah. yeah we need to get something else going on here. Something like that, maybe. A little bit of back angle on the situation here. That more better. Make sure when it tilted forward, my torque converter didn't slide out on me. That's been known to happen. So you're hoping that some bitches slide up with the pump. Kind of looking at the difference between here and here, and it looks like. It looks like that's about right, so... Okay. Okay! Kick me in the ball, Sally! <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh! Man, <laughs> Lassie! <laughs> Shit! Oh, yeah! I'm there. Oh, nice and tight, like boy. Mm-hmm. Get back there. Now. Oh, oh I, like, I like the way you run your jack handle there. Mm. I told a guy the other day, you know, that all these people, they want to be identified by the proper pronouns. He says, he said, hey boy, what are you doing? I says, don't you dare do that. He said, do what? And this was a farmer, you know. I said, I'm a, I'm, I'm a ha Apache helicopter today. I decided that I want to be an Apache helicopter. <laughs> and I said, you offended me by not addressing me as an Apache helicopter. He thought I was off my meds. <laughs> Light up here, maybe. It, it sure is easy to make fun of these idiots, isn't it? And these mentally ill people that we have running around everywhere now. They are, they're, they're mentally ill. And we're normalizing, we're normalizing mentally illness, is what we're doing. We're normalizing it. Get 
past these motor mounts is not the easiest thing to do. I will tell you that. Just keeps wanting to dirty basher. Right angle of the dangle here, you know? Yeah. Oh. Get in there now, nice and tight, light. Mm hmm. What the hell's going on with this son of a bitch? I still don't understand what is hitting where on this thing. Huh. What's going on with this thing, man? I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't see anything hitting up in there. So what in piss is this thing doing to me here? Why is it not wanting? There it goes. Okay. I gotta get it in a little further. And I'm almost there. I got a little bit of the angle the dangle type problem going on now. into the jack does not want to stay. What the hell's going on here? There's some bitches starting to piss me off. shouldn't <clears throat> still way way off I don't get it I don't get this shit, man. What's going on here? I saw the jack. It's got to go. Okay. Little shifter. And that goes over this way. Make sure I get that lined up with the holes down in there. Like a soul. And then I got the little pin right here that I always take out so I don't drop it down in the transmission. Stick that down in there and then when you tighten this here this here nut up, it'll capture that pin. Wonder. Now well, that hose is kind of where it is, I guess. Alright, so I got that and tighten that up, but I gotta get this apparati back on there.
Get that out of my way. I'm trying to remember how all this went down. What went where? So obviously this pivot point was up here where this bolt was. What was down here on this here? This here linkage right here. Mm hmm Most like I can't remember how that all went. I do remember that this was over here. I think right right there is the pivot point of this whole linkage. Yeah, yeah. And this went down here. Oh man, that's a tight spring you got on. Ah, oh, my phone's ringing. I don't have it in gear. I got it in neutral. So if I got, let's see, let's, uh, Check our oil level over here. And I got some steering near the swing cylinders or something leaking pretty bad on one of those swing cylinders. Gotta remedy that situation next. And somebody, I don't know how they did it, but somehow they bent the fill tube. I don't know how that is even possible. But I mean, the, the fill tube has a kink in it. Let's see, where are we at here? It needs more oil. It needs some more. Well, let me pour some more oil in it. And we'll go uh, put the deck plate on it and everything up together up on top and then we'll uh, see if we can fix those swing cylinders. Pull this out, and I gotta go change this water pump on this plastic baler. I was gonna clean this up. There's always some. You know, it never ends. Gotta have it right now. Gotta have it right now. You never can do anything, clean up, and do shit right. Uh, see if this thing will run. Uh, alrighty.
scared me for a second. I must have not had it. I must have not had it all the way in. All right, let's see if good. Make sure no torque converters leaking like it was before, because I mean it left a trail. It left an absolute trail before. Yeah, I don't have a trail behind me now. It appears maybe this hose might be leaking a little bit here. Where is that coming from? Or is that dripping off this filled tube? I think it's dripping off that filled tube where it overfilled. I think. Yeah. No, but that looks good. She's not just running out of there like it was before. I mean, it was absolutely running out of it. Stuff, and I'm gonna change the oil on it. Filters, fuel filters. Get the service up, grease it. There, wow. Well, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm kind of afraid to wash. It seems like you'd wash half of these things like this and they don't ever run right again. Well, anyways, well, there it is, guys. I got that pretty well back together. I resealed this uh, swing cylinder too while I was here. So I don't see it dripping everywhere like it was before. Except there's another drip here. This hose. This hose is leaking. But it's leaking right where. Let me see if I can tighten it. I'm just gonna tighten this up. I should. I had this 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 O-ring boss that's on me. That's pretty hard. It's leaking like crazy. I got that stopped. We need to do something about this.